I'm gonna do some cranial adjustments now that are uh, internal. All right, is it still tender in here? It's still pretty tender, yeah. Okay, I got more work to do. I have like a lot of like sinus problems too. Good. Yeah, spit it out right there. That's a good one. <laughs> How about this one up here? Yeah, definitely better. Not expect my neck to crack so much. You just want to let it all drop. Is that tender right there? A little bit. What about this side over here? Not as much as the other. Left side. Oh, I feel good. <laughs> How about that right there? Does that feel like this? Yeah. All right, a little better in there? Definitely. Here, okay, I'm going to push here. Now it's gone, right? Yeah, that feels better. That means we need to start adjusting right here. Okay, do you have any pain in your back when I do this? Like tightness right here? One thing with your pelvis, you have something called a category two. I mean, tightness in your back still? No, actually, yeah. It's better, right? Hey, what's up, Ryan? What's up, man? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Never been to a chiropractor before, but always been recommended. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. what? Well, n not for anything specific, just in general. Like, one of my best friends, uh, he, Jim, not, was like religious, and he started having some problems. He saw one, it helped him a lot, and then he actually started dating her girl who's in chiropractic school. I think. Yeah, he just was always highly talking up, like, man, like, it helped so much. It helped me, like, fix problems I didn't even know I had, and was always telling me, like, just go get, like, adjusted. You, like, you never know, like, maybe it'll help. I definitely have, like, had back pains a lot in my life. Um, I cracked my own back, which I know I shouldn't do, to like relieve like the pressure I feel build up. So I think that was like his main motivation for telling me like go get adjusted. Like maybe it would help with that. All right, how's your left hip? Um, is that one okay? Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think I've noticed any problems with my hip. My left ankle actually oh, gotcha. um, has recently over the past like year or so started having tension. Um, I've noticed like all of a sudden I can crack it myself sometimes when it starts to feel really stiff fractured my ankle when I was a kid, so I don't okay. know if that's related, but... All right, do you take any medication? No. Do you take any vitamins or minerals? Um, not currently. <laughs> I've, I've tried to be pretty good about, like, taking, like, some just basic stuff, B12, like, some vitamin C, vitamin D, okay. but lately I've been slacking on it. All right, you get headaches ever? I get headaches a lot. I'm going to do an exam first and see what's happening in your spine. I'll get you adjusted. When we get to the adjustment part, I'll go nice and slow. Okay. And I'll explain what I'm doing while I'm doing it so there won't be any surprises. Like this. Yeah, right on board. All right, push up. We're guessing right here. Yin, yang, yin. All right, a little tender right there. Here, I'll let that relax. Okay, ready? Is that tender right there? A little bit. What about this side over here? Not as much as the other. Left side. Just like her. Same thing. <laughs> I find that people uh, spend a lot of time close to each other, they entrain, their energies entrain, so often see similar things happening in people's bodies who sleep next to each other. So this is the yin meridian, we're going to open this up, this is an acupuncturist move. Okay, push up against me right here, yin, yang, not quite, let that relax. Good. here. Good. Put this up again. Push up against me here. Yin, yang. It's not yet. Let that relax. Not yet. Hold on. You've never had any work done, so it's it's, yeah. it's deep in there. No, I understand. <laughs> yeah, we just want to start unraveling things slowly, helping your body relax into the work. Let's see. Push up against me here. Yang, yin. It's good. Let that relax. Put the arm up again. Push up against me here. Cervical, thoracic, lumbar, sacrum. Got lumbar. We have a lumbar segment. Cervical, cranial, temporal, frontal, zygo, palatine, DMJ. It's good. A lot of frontal temporal stuff. Go let that relax. All right, turn to the other way. Rhomboid muscle trigger point, let that relax. All right, I'm gonna look at your uh, hips and your glutes, okay? Okay. Okay, we're gonna lift this up here just a little bit. Go ahead and let your arms relax. I'm gonna place my fingertips on your hips. Good, we have a high left tip. You're gonna feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings now, okay? Go lower left glute. No hypertonicity there. No rotation.
rotation. So your left hip's back like this just a little bit. Hmm. Okay, let's check the tailbone here. Any tenderness here? No, not really. That's good right there. Yeah. Feel good on this side too? Yeah, feels pretty normal. Okay, good. You know, now, now that like I think about it, it hasn't happened in a while, but I did used to like wake up with like soreness in both my hips sometimes in the morning. I was just attributed to like sleeping wrong, but. Okay, trigger point here on the left side. Here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and turn to the right. Good, just your head. Go ahead, back to center. Got a little tender in there, right? Yeah. All right, breathe through it. Breathe in through your nose and turn to the right. Good, back to center. Good. One more time, breathe in. There it goes. And out. Still a little tender? A little, a little less. Okay. How about that right there? Does that feel like this? Yeah. Okay, let's go this way. All right, so this is opened up here. That's good. We don't have any rib torque. That's good. We just have hip torque. Go put this right shoulder, put this right hand out. Go push up against me here. Let's test the shoulder. Down, up, in, out. Down and out. To the side like this. Go ahead. Now let the shoulder relax here. We're just going to give a little pull here. Go one more. Push up against me. Down. Out. Down. Still needs another one here. Let this relax. Let your other arm relax. Good. There we go. Okay, put this arm out again. Push up against me here. Nope. Let's do this. Put your left hand on your hip right here. Push your elbow back right here. Push, push. Hard as you can. Harder. Let that relax. Let me see this arm out again. Push up against me here. It's not yet. Go ahead and stand up for me. All right. Sometimes we need to stand up to this one. Okay. Now let your shoulders relax. Good. Right. They don't pull in this direction here. Push up against me here. Go let that relax. Left arm out to the side now. Push up against me here. that relax. Okay, bring your chin down. I'm gonna reach around the front and hold on to this left elbow here like this. Okay, let that relax. Okay, that's the right one here now. Lean forward just a bit. Okay, let that relax. Okay, I'm gonna crack your ears, okay? I'm gonna just pull down like this. All right, let's do this now. Okay, do you have any pain in your back when I do this? Uh, a little, maybe like tightness right here? I wouldn't call it pain. Okay. Right here, good. Left hip up, good down. All right, I'm gonna test the tailbone again here. Do you have any tenderness here? Or does that feel like this? Oh, they feel, they feel the same. I wouldn't say they're tender. Maybe just slightly. Okay, I'm gonna work on this tension right here. That, yeah, that's a little tender here. Okay. Nice and gentle. Okay, so one thing with your pelvis, you have something called a category two. It means you have the ligaments of your SI joint are hypermobile or they're loose. So one of the things I'm going to recommend is an exercise to help stabilize the muscles around your hips and, uh, and create a little bit more stability and a little bit more uh, structural or integrity. And that should help decrease the pain.
All right, bend your knees again, and then bring them up here. Do you feel that tightness in your back still? No, actually, yeah. It's better, right? Mm -hmm. that bad. I'm gonna hit the singing bowl because I like it. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna adjust according to the trap fibers. So, ready? Tell me which one's the most tender. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, uh, I think it was five. Four, five. 95, 84. So that's T7. Okay, so right there, that guy? Yeah, that's kind of tender, yeah. Okay, ready? I'm gonna push down here. If I push down here, does that go away? Um, it still feels a little tender. Okay, let me come, let me go down one segment here. Okay, I'm going to push here. Now it's gone, right? Yeah, that feels better. That means we need to start adjusting right here. So for this adjustment, Ryan, I'm going to follow your breath, okay? So as you breathe out, we're going to follow down like this. And then at the end of your breath, I just push like that, okay? I'm going to do it super gentle for your first adjustment ever. Let's give it a try. Deep breath in. And out. Sinking in, good, just letting it go. Eat. Very nice, good, gentle, gentle, gentle. Whew. All right, that was perfect. I'm gonna move out to this segment right here, just to make sure we got all the stuck places, unstuck, there's one more, just gentle little push here. Good, Ryan. Whew. All right, so now we have a, an L3. Tender, right? Yeah. All right, so L3 is C3. So let's see what the L3 is doing via the cervical spine. Okay, right or left, which is more tender here? Or same? Uh, I'd say right a little. Okay, ready? Right or left, right or left? Right, I think. That's a PRS. They're on pretty L. close, though. They're both tender. Okay. All right, so we're going to contact this L3 just like this. And then the C3 here. Tender? Yeah. Tender. Definitely. Yeah, yeah your, your muscles, your neck just spasm. All right, so we're just going to do some very gentle breathing as we work this out. All right, a little better in there? Definitely. How about this one up here? Yeah, definitely better. Still a little tender, but a little le bit. less than it was. All right, well, I need to adjust this segment up here for sure. But let's get your, let's get your low back moving first. All right, we're gonna bend this top leg. Bottom leg is straight. That's nice. We're gonna bring this forward here like this. Go ahead and pull this out like that. Just Okay, nice and gentle breathing. Good. I'm gonna adjust this lumbar. 
Okay, so first I'm gonna do a very gentle push into your lumbar spine, Ryan. So as you breathe out, I'm gonna stretch your shoulders up like this, and then I'm gonna push into your spine like that, and then we have a little push, okay? Let's give it a try, deep breath in, and out. Go gentle, gentle, gentle. The microphone's like a mile away, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna adjust your hip. Nice and gentle, go take a deep breath in. Now, good shoulders, good, gentle, good, gentle. Line your back. Not too crazy, right? No, feels good. All right, we're gonna bend this one up here. Alrighty, sir. Now I'm going to adjust the side, this SI joint on this okay, side. Okay, same thing as last time. You're going to breathe. As you breathe out, we go like this with your arms. I'm going to pull your hips down and push like that, okay? Okay, deep breath in. And out. Gentle. Let the shoulders go. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Alright. Are you drinking enough water, sir? Um, I like to think I genuinely do. Today I'm a little mm -hmm. behind, but I see it on your lips. Yeah, stick out your tooth, stick out your tongue. Oh yeah, put it back. You're definitely dehydrated. Yeah, I I went out with um, a friend of mine is home from the army right mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. and we went out yesterday and we were drinking. So here, let your head relax. More, let it go. There it is. Good. Okay. You drinking beer or whiskey? Um, gin. Gin. Gin and tonic. Damn. Fancy guys. <laughs> no, that was just me. They, okay. They're all beer drinkers. Beer doesn't sit right in my stomach. Hmm, interesting. Anything else doesn't sit right in your stomach? Um, I mean, lots of things. I have like IBS. Uh, I can't do lactose. Um, certain kinds of like spicy foods hurt my stomach. Um, gluten kind of does a bit too. It bothers me. That's why, I like, I just like clear liquor. Mm -hmm. Alright, let your hands relax. Yeah, there you gonna follow your breathing and as you breathe out we're gonna go this way and then I push like that let me check one thing first here before I do this let your head relax let your neck go let's, let this drop yeah there you go okay that's nice okay very gentle breathing sir following your breath as you breathe out we go in this direction then I push like that okay okay let the head relax and shoulders good let this completely down let this relax let it go Good, same thing with your shoulders and your hips, your entire back and your spine. Feel your body pressing into the table. As you breathe out, find the relax, let it go. You just wanna let it all drop. Oh. Oh, I feel good. <laughs> I've never had my neck crack before, that was interesting. Nice. I have like a lot of like sinus problems too, like my nose is constantly like stuffy and like hard to breathe through. We're getting there. Nice. I was gonna say that kind of almost felt like that, like relieved a little pressure. Nice and gentle, we're gonna bring your head over to the side like this. Let your shoulders relaxing, good. Very nice. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, God. Did not expect my neck to crack so much. Oh. It feels good. Yeah, yeah, your neck's in good shape just based on how it cracks. 
It's not too loose. It's not crazy tight. This okay. adjustment should really help a lot based on what I just felt. Those things were stuck for a while. Okay. And uh, you'll feel a good amount of relief from this. All right, I'm going to take your pulse. Let this relax here. There are two kinds of, actually, there's really three kinds of pulse readings. The Western medicine pulse reading is all about the heart cardiovascular system, rate, rhythm, contour, and amplitude. Although most Western practitioners do not use rhythm, contour, or amplitude in their diagnostics. They just use the rate, you know, 60 beats per minute or whatever. Then there's an Eastern uh, two Eastern philosophies of pulse reading, and one is Ayurvedic from India, and the other one is traditional Chinese medicine. They both use three pulse points. Okay. And uh, there's uh, two depths. There's a superficial and a deep. And so each point, one, two, three, superficial, deep, four, five, six, gives information about six different organs and organ systems, times mm. two on the other side as well. That's 12. Interesting. And uh, they're very similar, the two systems, Ayurveda and Chinese. I remember when I first found out that there was two of them. I first found out about the traditional Chinese medicine, and then I found out about the Ayurvedic one. And I was like, oh, I wonder if anyone's ever compared the two. And so I, I looked it up. I asked the oracle, you know, Google. <laughs> and I was like, hey, Google, has anyone ever compared these two charts? Nothing. Nothing on the Internet. And I was like, oh. I was like, I'm going to do it then. Okay. So I so I compared the two, and when I got the results, uh, it was fascinating what I found. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to teach this one day. I'm going to have to make a, a slide about this. Kept that in my mind for 10 years. Just every now and then, I'd be like, I really have to make that slide. It would just <laughs> show up. And then I was teaching recently, and I was like, I have to make the slide. So I made the slide. I compared the two. It's rare that there's a something that hasn't been done on the internet these days. Yeah. <laughs> Just in general. Uh-huh. So what what did your comparison, what results did that yield? Great question. <laughs> so six out of the 12 pulse points are exactly the same. And then of the, the rest of the six, there's two of them where the Ayurvedic is comparing something that doesn't even exist on the traditional Chinese medicine. Hmm. And then the other four is actually, it's two pair where they have, uh, the, where, the, where the organ is on the right finger and the right depth, or it's on the opposite side of the body. Interesting. So for example, like this is the stomach spleen in uh, traditional Chinese, but in Ayurveda, this is liver gallbladder. But on the other side, it's reversed. Interesting. So to me, what happened is that, you know, someone was copying it down from one or the other. Probably, if I had to say, I would say that, I would say the Indian culture is older than the Chinese culture. I could be wrong because there's libraries in China that is just completely untranslated. You know, they have very old books that are yeah. not translated yet, so we don't know. What it seems like to me is like someone was copying it down, you know, they're just working by candlelight with like the feather and the inkwell and they're just like copying it down. They're like left, right, left, right. And then like, so, and then the, their wife calls and they're like, honey, can you get Okay, so do you have both constipation and diarrhea? Not really constipation. I have just one. Bad okay. diarrhea a lot, yeah. Okay. IBS. Sometimes it flares up pretty bad. Okay, so you have a diagnosis of IBS? Yeah. All right, let me see this hand over here. Okay, so one thing that I get is that your, your, your small intestine is working much harder than your large intestine. And so your large intestine, your colon is shut off. That's why it's not absorbing the water. And so that would make sense for uh, having too much uh, wateriness. Also the dehydration too would make sense there. Yeah, I mean, I honestly like, even when I feel like I drink a good amount of water, I do sometimes still feel dehydrated. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's related, but. Oh yeah, it's right. Whew. 
All right. Is this tender in here? Yeah, that's pretty tender. Okay, we're gonna work on some of these points here. Let that relax. And uh, we're gonna just open up the organs here. We're gonna do some organ manipulation. This is like the, the next layer of chiropractic. It's still chiropractic because chiro just means hand. So I'm still using my hands. Chiropractors for a long time have been um, very adamant that this is a whole body uh, medicine. But then somewhere along the lines, chiropractors lost the art of, of organ manipulation. And, uh, and, and you know, where chiropractors are famous for saying, oh, well, you have a gallbladder issue, so I need to adjust your, thir your fourth thoracic vertebra. And it works sometimes. But I've had many, many, many patients who, yeah, their their T four hurts or whatever, but really the issue is coming from here. And so I can adjust the spine all day long, but unless I'm releasing the tension where it is in the body, listening to the body, then it'll always be there. Makes sense. Yes, sir. Like like you were saying, or she was saying earlier, it's all connected. I mean. Mm -hmm. Body's connected in many different ways, so you have to address the problems from different angles sometimes. Mm -hmm. What do you do for a living? I'm in IT now. Um, mm. I just made the shift in career like a year and a half ago, but you like it so far? Yeah, so far I'm enjoying a lot. I've always had like a affinity for computers and technology. I got a little sidetracked um, in my earlier twenties and just working like restaurant jobs, but I'm a little back on track now. It's not even a side track. It's like just you know, like it's side mission. Yeah. You have to complete before you go on to the next mission. Exactly. If you didn't waste any time. It's all just a journey. We're all going to the same destination. Taco bar? Cause that's where I'm going. <sighs> hey, I'm hungry now. You mentioned it. <laughs> there we go. That's a nice release. Hold on. Some... <sighs> all right. Is this still tender in here? It's still pretty tender. Yeah. Okay, I got more work to do. All right, so I'm gonna do the next point here for the gallbladder. This is on the bottom of the foot. So, so put your right foot right here on your knee, like bend your knee. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Feel That's not tender? Just a tiny, tiny bit. Oh, okay. It's a little more tender there. Okay, right there, right? Yeah. Still tender? A little bit less. Okay, put that leg down. <clears throat> All right, let me see. Put this arm up in the air. Okay, make it strong. Don't let me push here, okay? okay. Make it strong. Good. Push. Gallbladder. Whatever. Gallbladder still pancreas. Stomach. Spleen. Heart. Heart. Lung. Rib to work. It's releasing, that's good. Okay, push again. Testicle, testicle. Right near your bladder. Let that relax. All right, so still more, still more gallbladder. So let's release the stomach and see if that helps move the gallbladder along. That right there, right? All right, let me see this hand over here. I gotta get this pulse. Push this way. All right, now let that hand relax. This one sucks too, right? Yeah, yeah, that definitely is tender. Right there. Yep. Yeah. All right, breathe it out. Nice, gentle breathing. That's nice. Good. That's good. 
All right, there's a little bit. There we go. You feel it melt. That's good. This finger needs to be adjusted. Oh. Let that relax again. All right, that's better. Still a little bit, right? Yeah. A little better, but still a little. All right, let's put this down here. Okay, deep breathing. Yep, and out. Yeah. Good, good breathing. Right there. Okay, let's try some belly breathing. That's that's a good breath. You're you're halfway there to a belly breath. Do that again, but really push your belly out. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's it right there. Mm -hmm. Nice, 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 nice. Is it a snake in this bird's mouth? <laughs> what do you mean? On the album cover here of this t-shirt? Oh, um, I'm actually not sure. Very symbolic. <clears throat> Got the full moon in the back. I thought it was some kind of plant. Is it an apple? Mm. I'm, I'm trying to recall off memory. My memory is terrible. That's okay. We can work on that too. It's because of the gut. You know what I mean? If everything that happens in the brain is a result of nutrients being broken down and absorbed properly yeah. so bad memory which could be thyroid too but yeah i've always had like not the best memory especially picture memory is not my strong suit all right hold your pinky and thumb together don't let me pull it apart right there tmj palatine lift zygopole frontal sphenoid temporal jugular Jugular, zygo left, palatine. All right, go ahead and relax. Is this right yet? That's better. That's definitely a little better. What's that? That's definitely a little better. Yeah. yeah. Here, I'm gonna lift you up your shirt for a minute, okay? Mm -hmm. Is this tender up here? Mm, not really. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna do some cranial adjustments now that are uh, internal. Okay. Mouth. Internal. Okay, go ahead and open. Okay, good. Now, nice and gentle. I'm just gonna breathe it out as I manipulate the palatine bone. so crazy sometimes when I'm working on the gut and it just won't release and it won't release and then as soon as I start doing the cranials it just opens up. That was good. We're in the right place.
All right, now just smile. You have nice teeth. Good motion there. Just a little restricted going this way on the maxilla. Hmm. Do that again, another breath in. Got another breath in through the nose. Got another breath in through the nose. Is it smoother that way? Mm -hmm. That one was smoother than the last one. Yeah. Good. Well, that means that the muscle testing was accurate. Good. Open up my right nostril a little bit. Nice. Let me see. Breathe out through your nose. Out. Oh, that's nice. You don't have any surgery, any metal in there, right? <sighs> okay, this is an adjustment now for your nasal bone. I'm going to push down in that direction like that, okay? A full spine adjustment. I'm going to use this towel like this. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to hold it like this. This helps support your neck. And as you breathe out, I'm going to pull in this direction like that. And at the end, we're going to go like this, okay? All right. All right, let's give it a try. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and out. That's all good. All right, that was good, but there's there's still more. Oh, I felt that like more like in my like neck and upper back a little bit. Though. Okay, good. That's that over there still. I didn't get it all the way though. One more time. Deep breath in. And out. Shoulders and hips. Let them sink in. Let your shoulders sink. Good. There we go. Good. Swing your legs off to the side. All right, walk around a bit. Let's see. I feel, I don't know, a little looser. Different. I don't know how to describe it. I did hurt my hip a little bit. I feel like some tightness in there, they're not so much that I was bruised, I don't know. My head feels lighter. I can breathe better. I definitely notice that. Nice. Honestly, like my sinuses are one of my biggest struggles. Like I can never freaking breathe. I'm a mouth breather because my nose is always so congested. So I notice when I can like breathe through my nose. And all of a sudden I can, so that's nice. I'm going to do a manipulation to try to help clear out more of the sinus stuff, okay? Okay. This one's in the back of the throat. I'm going to go past the uvula and up to try to stimulate the adenoids. Okay. And clear any mucus or blood that's up there, okay? Okay. So this one will make you gag and cough. Okay. All right, let's see. Go ahead and look up for me. Go ahead and open. All right, close your eyes and just try to breathe through your nose. Good. Relax your jaw and relax your tongue. Good. Yeah, spit it out right there. <coughs> that was interesting. Okay, that was pretty good. Okay. There's a little bit more though. Okay. We're gonna do it one. Good. There we go. Yeah. <coughs> there it is. Okay. <coughs> Yeah. All right. <clears throat> it's all clear though, which is good. You don't have any infection. None of this is bacterial or fungus. This is just your body producing excess mucus yeah. to try to deal with the mechanical insufficiency. I mean, I'm honestly, yeah, I'm often like overproducing mucus and mm -hmm. and coughing up a lot. It's usually clear, but okay. Yeah, that's good. There's adenoids here. Let me see something. Yeah, take another breath in. 
No. I didn't expect to be getting sinus help today, so that was a nice surprise. Oh, well, that's the thing. That, that's the worst part of it, right? That's, that's that's your number one symptom. Is it what's worse, the sinus or the stomach? Oh, um, I don't know. That's a tough call. Yeah. I would have to say like my stomach, honestly. Okay. My stomach really like impacts my quality of life sometimes. Like, okay. if I eat the wrong thing, I, I'm running to the bathroom, and it causes me a lot of just discomfort all the time. Oh, Sarah, insane. Good, just relax. Yeah, your, your colon is better now. And uh, so we should see a little bit more absorption after this and less of the runnies. Yeah, I mean, now that we talk more about this, like the discomfort I feel is like definitely more in my intestines than my stomach. Like I often feel that discomfort like very like low in my gut. It works. Whew. All right, man. That was a good session. Cool. Thank you, man. I feel great. Thank you. That was very nice. That really helped my back, honestly. Yeah. My back had been killing me. I feel much looser now. Thank you very much. You're welcome very much. I'm, I'm curious. That my gut feels good right now. I'm curious to see how it feels throughout the day now. Yeah. I definitely, like, that was interesting that you addressed mm -hmm. in the gut. And mm -hmm. I definitely could feel, like, I don't know how to try it, some kind of tension kind of leaving my gut area because I, I feel very, like, not at ease in my gut all the time. Cool. So that is nice to feel that relief. All right, Ryan, let's do some updates.